Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Before I get into it, it'd be massively appreciated if you went ahead and dropped a like on the video. Cheers. So Philip Clement should look at the verbal agreement between Rangers and John Lundstrom regarding a new contract for the midfielder. After his shocking performance against Ross County on Sunday, Lundstrom's steel does expire at the end of the campaign, with fresh terms yet to be penned despite the summer transfer window approaching very soon. However, it had been previously revealed on the 18th of March that all parties were in agreement that a new contract is the way forward. Following the Rangers' shock 3-2 loss against Ross County, Clement may have a good reason to doubt if that agreement is in the club's best interests. Lundstrom is one of the senior, more experienced members of this Rangers team, but that experience was nowhere to be seen against Ross County. The Englishman is expected to be the beating heart of Clement's side, dictating play from the base of midfield, but his performance against Don Kiwi's men was not up to standards. Lundstrom's primary focus appeared to be keeping things safe in possession, and the midfielder did register a high touch count, taking 108 touches and connecting with 83 of his 92 passes for a pass accuracy of 90%. But those numbers are meaningless if the use of the ball is not effective and unfortunately it wasn't. He was equally ineffectual out of possession, getting completely bypassed for two of Ross County's three goals, and failing to stamp his authority on proceedings in the game. And if he does continue to produce such displays, Clement may decide that he is better off looking for a replacement midfielder this summer. So what do you guys think then? Honestly, I'm shocked we didn't win the game on Sunday, and I'm not sure what happened but it was definitely a shocking result, and certain players like Lundstrom did let us down. It's obviously quite clear that this can't keep happening if we are to win titles now and in the future, and it was quite clear that it was a very poor game, and like I said before, I'm shocked that we can't do enough to win these type of games, although hopefully it doesn't impact our chances at the title, and we can bounce back from this one. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and subscribe for daily videos. Cheers.